this car will be completely changed. But on the powertrain, to a four-wheel drive, all-electric, 600 horses plus. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Luis, tech director here at Field Tech USA, and welcome to a cool series, I must tell you guys. Behind me is this beautiful 1992 Fox body. Like, everyone is plenty aware of the capabilities of this vehicle once you do something aftermarket to it. You change the engine, you change internals, you put a turbo on it, you put a big block, you put a nitrous mode, you put turbos on it, you name it. People have done so much to this platform. It's just impressive. It's an impressive platform. But like, honestly, is, is that everything that we can do? So us at Field Tech, we do think that that's not enough. We can do something different. We can do something, I wouldn't say better, but new for a fact. So this car, pristine condition, it was a really nice car that we found out in Florida, only 36,000 miles. It's gonna be the foundation of a new Fox body, an electric Fox body. This car will be completely changed, not on outside, not on inside, but on the powertrain to a four wheel drive, all electric, 600 horses plus, street drivable, daily driven if you want to, but full electric, replacing the combustion motor that this car has, a 5.0, famous 5.0, 302 for some, with electric powertrains from for performance. So it won't be any kind of electric motor, but pretty much similar versions what is found today on the Mac E version from Ford. We're gonna try to make it a little bit different on this platform. So as you guys can see, this car it's in really nice condition. Black on black interior is also really nice. It wasn't it wasn't driven hard. It wasn't abused. It looks like people took care of it along the years standard wheels, manual clutch car, and it's gonna change. There will be no transmission anymore. It will be straight the motor, so we're gonna keep the brakes, we're gonna keep the accelerator pedal, throttle, but that's gonna be it, no clutch anymore. Keeping the wheels for sure, you're just gonna need to adapt some stuff up front to be able to put some uh, axles up front. We're gonna move from that live axle to an independent rear suspension like the newer cars are and including the Mac E is and gonna try to keep everything that's good in a car so we're still gonna have air conditioning power steering power brakes power windows you know radio and guess what the fuel tech ECU pretty much the same FT550 same FT600 that you guys may run today on your you guys race cars will be here on this vehicle completely dominating the whole electric powertrain this time. No spark plugs, no feel, no timing, no nothing like that, but it's still traction control over the electric, dashboard, data logging, time-based features. So we're gonna be able to tame this electric motor just like we do on a regular combustion motor. But now we're not going to manipulate just like horsepower. We're not going to manipulate RPM. We're not going to manipulate, you know, torque, or at least not the way that we used to. We're gonna manipulate all the torque and the horsepower over the current and the voltage that this motor will try to use, consume, draw through inverters from VAG and through some really crazy batteries that will feed everything here. So let's, let's take this car for a spin. Before we start taking apart, before we analyzing the car, let's take this car for a spin and see how it felt driving a really low mileage, pretty much like new condition, Fox body, back on the early 90s. I was born in 85, so I was about seven years old. There was no way I would be able to have that kind of experience, but we're gonna have this today. We're gonna take it for a spin uh, around the block, and let's see what we see, what we feel on this car. Once we back, once we change everything, let's do a comparison, how this thing is gonna drive on electric. Come on, clutch time. So how do I move this seat forward? 
Ah, I see it. The old rack style. Okay, now I'm feeling good. Okay, let's see how it cranks. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, neutral brake. Oh, look at that. It's blinking something here. Let's try AC uh, alarm. Yeah. Anti TAF system. It still works. Well, I'm gonna miss the sound that it makes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna miss how strong this thing pulls. It's a nice and sunny day here in Georgia. I'm kind of blind if I'm doing your my signature glasses. Straight from Top Gun. Okay. Pretty torquey. I like it. I like it. I like it. Left. Let's try the old one three. Oh, nice torque, nice bottom end. One three five. Just okay. drive around slowly. Okay. Engine rocks good. So I think everyone or whoever owned this car before i heard about it was a single owner but if you go through carfax and stuff like that it seems that we have twice different owners so i, I don't know hard to tell it's older vehicle right everything is working great close the window you guys can hear me better oh yeah quieter now AC is on. The fans are working. Man, just like we just like we spoke before, it's like I'm I'm feeling I'm inside a time capsule machine right here. Like something that was saved through the years. I assume there's not much maintenance we actually need to do, like the steering wheel seems to be a little bit crooked, you know, just some alignment, make sure everything is okay. And uh, that's it. What do, what do you guys think about this? What about you, Jim? It's interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Pretty different, right? Like, this column is really narrow, so you actually have a really nice side, right? I driven several Fox bodies before, but like nothing that was quiet. <laughs> you know, this thing is pretty quiet. Every single one that I have driven was like loud. It had big turbos, it had whatever. We have a great customer, Robert Woods. He has a black one like this one, twin turbo, like I don't know, 2,000 horses to the wheel or something. That was something. Drive around, something cool. It feels a little bit like a boat. I think the front shocks are shot kind of bounces around too much I can't complain everything works gearing feels great clutch feels great I like automatics to drive on the street makes so much easier you know and automatic transmission they have progressive so far but for sure there is there is like a lot of romance behind having a manual car and being able to do some you know punta taco like they say he went to or something like that it's a cool car engine reacts really well but i'm gonna tell you guys this this industrial park right here this is like the the back of it there's like great people that work here great companies here this is our skip pad <laughs> sometimes we come over here just fool around safe not going to public roads right donuts and stuff i won't try to do anything on this guy we just got it i don't want to force it for sure we're going to need to do some fluid change and you know new gas and new filters and stuff like that so What about you, Max? 
I know that you like imports. You love a 350Z. What do you think about this thing? So, I'm pretty impressed. I think the most impressive thing on this for me is the interior, given how old it is. Like, this interior is nicer yeah. than some cars that are coming out like five, six years ago. Yeah, you look at this thing, you, you cannot believe the 92 car. You cannot believe. Like, I couldn't find a crack on the dash or something. Like, this thing was not left on the sun. I guarantee you, like, garage cap. Put this in perspective, this is older than me. Look at that thing. So I, I was born in 85. I had seven years when they manufactured this thing. And as you guys know, I'm from Brazil. So Brazil, we didn't have Fox bodies over there. I didn't even know about Fox bodies until I was, I don't know, 12 to 15 years old. When I would start getting more, you know, into cars and understand better. This thing was already, you know, making trips down in Florida, going to the Keys. It it has some life. Yeah, for sure, we have some struts that are not not even here. You can feel it. The car bounces too much. Driver driver corner right here for for a fact. Not sure about that one, but this one for sure. So we're gonna need to redo the struts. More likely gonna redo on the back as well once we're adapting this thing to go to independent rear suspension. New tires. They're in really good shape, but they old. We're gonna be pushing a lot of power with the electric motors on this thing, so like we, we need to be safe. So we're gonna need to go over and maybe do some upgrades on the brake system as well. So great foundation. I really like it, really dig it. One of the coolest things that will be is like we having just a fuel tech ECU here. We're gonna try to keep everything as stock as we can, right? And just having the ECU inside, everything else pretty much back from the 90s. And the ECU managing the electric motors. Being able to drive quieter than it is. It's really quiet. It's gonna be quieter than it is right now. I'm gonna even take the fan off like we, we're almost back. And uh, so much more power. So this thing feels torquey, but for sure it doesn't have like horsepower. So we're gonna have both now. And four wheel drive. Huh, I have one idea. Let's put this thing on the dyno. Let's see, let's see how much ponies, how, how much horses we have this thing to the rear wheels on our hub dyno. I don't think it's gonna have many, but it's gonna be some old tired ponies. At least we can try to see how many of those are still alive, right? Well, let me back it up. Let's bolt it onto the dyno. And let's see what this baby can do. Back from the 90s. Dyna is pretty cool. We can do the regular, you know, single gear pull. That's what we're gonna do in this thing. We're gonna pull like a, a single gear. And um, it measures the torque by the brakes. It has four brakes. I'm gonna shut it off half. I'm gonna only use two brakes, one each side, just to make it easier. And um, again, single gear pull, just like a regular chassis dyno. But the cool thing is, one is a drag racing car that we're trying to replicate what it does at the track. We can do that. And we actually leave on the trans brake, on low gear, let go of the bottom. And it does everything just like the track. It put nitrous in, boost, a blower putting boost in, or a turbo is making more boost, it doesn't matter. Goes through low gear, you know, second gear if you have, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, depends on what you have, only two gears lock up, it does not matter. We replicate runs from cars that go, I don't know, 6.0 on the 8, and cars that go 5.50s on the quarter. We can do right here, standing still. So there's, it's raining outside, we can be dying on here. You know, there's no suspension problems, no tire shake, no nothing. You just can, boom, send it. Let me see if you find that arc save. Ooh, right there. No, it's not that Oh. This is the perfect comparison, guys. Our Envoy. The Envoy, it's a LS53 bone stock, 231 to the tire or to the hub. This, this, this is, is a dog fight right here. 
4-5-0 versus LS 5-3. Mm. Who's gonna win? Jake, I'm who's gonna win? LS or the 5-0? LS. Uh oh, uh oh. LS. Well, let's be fair. The Envoy is what? 14, 15 years newer. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's grandpa fighting your uncle. So it's like kind of not fair fight. Oh LS all the way, baby. But LS got this Mustang easily. Easily, no questions. Wow, I bet you that thing's rare. It, yes, it I is. I bet you that didn't. This thing was having that. a good time just enjoying margaritas. Mm. <laughs> Did you have that on yours? You did? Oh, well, you're a Ford guy. You probably got a bunch of them. Yeah, he bought that thing, you know, from a dealership. Oh, yeah. Old stock. New old stock. Already. It's nice to see this. Thing. Yeah. It's, actually, it's nice to see all the stickers. Mine are all ripped off. Yeah, all the details, right? All, every single sticker, every single cap, everything is there. It's all motor. You know how you do these, right? It's like... You turn the distributor you back. You just do this and roll the dice. You turn the distributor back and then you put it back in face and you're like, picked up 20 horse. This is the TFI, right? It's with the pip and spout. That, yeah. Old, old TFI. Look at those this injectors. This thing is so clean underneath. This connector is like before EV1 was even released. It's got cruise control. Oh, I saw some. This, this is not OEM. This is aftermarket, right? Yeah. This housing. Mm, we may have more horses than we think. Ooh. Upgrade a cam, you know, more lift, so it doesn't sound like it has a cam, but it does. Never know. More compression. Mm. I think it's gonna be too nice to do anything with. It's already super nice. Keep it. Oh, you. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. So let's be honest, okay? This is a nice car. It's not a museum car. That's the thing. So like, I agree. It it kind of, at all the way on the bottom, it kind of hurts you that you're gonna kind of touch something like this. But the the thing oh, is, be sweet, man. there's so many Fox bodies out there, and there is a lot on better shape than this one. So this thing also makes like 600 electric. Would be way better than it is right now, right? So honestly, if this thing had like 300 miles, I wouldn't touch it. No. But this thing has almost 40,000. Right? So it's time to play take around. this 5.0 out. Get the electric it's a, in. It's a very nice place to start. Too. Ooh, ooh, Ford Motorsport plug wires. It's uh, 10 horsepower more just by using that. Okay. It's this thing. <laughs> hey, Liz. Oh. Uh, I don't need a helmet. It's Ford. <laughs> it's a Ford, Lewis. Don't it's fine. It's quiet. As long as it starts, <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't stay close to the hub. The hubs are more dangerous than this thing. <laughs> If you guys see smoke, something leak, just like wave. We'll just come, we'll just talk to your normal boys. Oh, oh. what? You know, that's that board, it's howling already, boys. Okay. So, okay, this is off. I'm trying to learn how to shut off everything. So everything is off. It won't crank again. Okay. Once it starts moving, it's going. Hey, Everyone said, I got 200 horsepower in the fan. <laughs> that ain't no like, no joke.
Who won? I think I won. I had 208. You had 208? Yeah, I had Who was lower than you? I, I, I said 201. He's what do you say, Jim? You said five? No, he didn't. He, he, he did say five. Oh, yeah. oh, oh he came oh, to oh, the screen. Five. Jim, good job. I said 205. Good job. <laughs> you do it, Jim. You do it, Jim. Hey, you know? So, so we have 200 and five horses. Bone stock, whatever the mods that we kind of don't know if that came from the dealership or got some kind of headers. so it's four performance headers. Yeah. That's what we see. There's some kind of stainless steel where it goes like just the bracket for the mass airflow sensor. I don't know about filter. I don't know about nice plug wires. But everything seems to be functional, right? Yeah. And it make but the power delivery is smooth. I could feel in the car. It wasn't. It wasn't happy. It's yeah. like maybe some. You know, clogged injectors or something. So it would do more. It made 205 like that. So it, it, it was gonna make more. So I, I rev about six grand. It wasn't going anywhere. It was already kind of going downhill from there. Okay. So I think the the RPM right there is like half what is what it is. So it should be about 5600 peak power, something like that. 205 or 1600 RPM. Now we should have six. 100 at zero. Instant. Burnout machine. It's hard not to touch this thing because I want to like turn the distributor or like oh, yeah. or I, do I want, something. I want to put like FT550 on this thing. A uh, brand new set of injectors, pump, E85, and see if you can pick up like 50 horse or something, do like 250 to the tire. Can you run it with the AC on? Oh, poor boy. See what it makes. No, I'm not going to do that. That belt's old. That belt's going to fly off. We're going to hate you guys. We'll close the hood. Okay. So that's it. We have a baseline. Now that we have a baseline engine wise, we need to have a baseline weight wise. Let's take it off on the down and let's put on the scales. After we do the scales, time to disassemble.